What's up everybody, it's Fatty Mansa here from Real Results Fitness. And in this video, what I'm gonna show you how to do is how to make a very easy, low fat, high protein meal. Let's get started. The ingredients that you need are lentils, you can use uh, frozen or fresh vegetables. I'm just using some frozen uh, stir fry vegetables that I have and an ingredient that I am going to use later. And again, this is completely optional, some leftover chicken. That is the second half of this. Very easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out two servings of lentils. So one serving of this is 50 grams. And just to give you an idea of what one serving of these lentils gives you is 30 carbs, 13 grams of protein, half a gram of fat, and 15 grams of fiber. So it's a great way to get your fiber as well. I'm gonna put two servings in this. So uh, I'm having some clients that have issues hitting their carbs or their protein. This is a good way to supplement both. Two servings of this will give you 60 carbs. So what I'm gonna do, I got my scale here. Other thing you need, the last thing you need, most important thing you need in this is a slow cooker. We're gonna be doing this all in the slow cooker. We're just gonna put it in there, let it go to work, and that's it. All right, so I'm going to measure 100 grams of lentils. What I like to do after that is I like to rinse the lentils out. I like to do this with my rice as well. Don't ask me why I like to rinse it out. I just, I just do. So oh, that's what it looks like now. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to measure out. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to measure out a lot of veggies. Uh, so this says it's 11 grams of carbs per serving. Uh, I think that's an overestimation because it does come with like a teriyaki sauce pack packet. I think it's less than 11 grams per serving. I'm just gonna dump the, all the rest of it in there. All right. So now if we look at the bowl, it's nice and full. All I do at this point is on my slow cooker. Mine is like a slow cooker slash rice cooker. If you have a rice cooker, it works just as well. I'm gonna throw it in there. Close that bad boy up. If you have one like me, um, there's different options on there. So there's smart steam, brown rice. Um, I just do quick rice. You could do white rice, brown rice. I've tried all of them, doesn't make a big difference. And then I just sit there and let it cook. It's gonna take about an hour, if that, to cook. And once I do that, then I add the second half of the ingredients. Okay guys, second half of what to do once your lentils are cooked. So now my lentils are cooked and the veggies are in there. So what you do next is I'm going to throw in my leftover chicken. So I don't have much, probably less than an ounce. I'm gonna just toss that in there. I had shredded chicken, so I'm just gonna break, hopefully you can see that, I'm gonna break that up and mix the lentils in there. And then now what I do is I add my seasoning. So you can get creative, it's gonna be up to your taste buds and a lot of trial and error. Um, I put like soy sauce on almost everything. So I sprinkled some soy sauce on there. I don't worry about the sodium because I am exercising enough, I am sweating enough, and I'm drinking enough water uh, and I'm not getting ready for a contest or anything. So that's why it doesn't matter with the sodium. And then I do, usually I do some adobo, got some uh, leftover extra total seasoning. So that's what I'm gonna use now. And then salt and pepper. I got a heavy hand with seasoning, so 
that's what I do. Then I just mix it up. So it's already cooked. Uh, with my slow cooker, I have a warm setting. So I'll just keep it on warm. And then it will uh, kind of cook the, uh, the cold chicken that I have in there. And then mix it all up. And in that meal, guys, so with my veggies, I have probably around 80 grams of carbs, close to 40 to 50 grams of protein, and almost no fat. If you are always on the go, what you can do is split that up into a, a few meals. You know, if you're working retail or, or whatever the scenario is, you don't have time to go out and eat on your lunch. That's a very quick and easy recipe to make. What I do is, as you saw, I just set it, leave it alone, come back a few hours later, it's ready to go, it's, it's cooked already. I don't have to, there's not much cleanup. I don't have to worry about the stove or whatever. Very quick, easy, simple, lots of carbs, potentially up to you, lots of protein, and you'll basically hit your day's fiber. Okay guys, hopefully that has helped you. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, please do not forget to click that like button down below. Uh, leave a comment on if uh, if you've ever had lentils or not. If you like them or not, just let, them, let me know in the comments. And if you aren't already, please subscribe for more videos like this. If you do like the cooking videos like this, please let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see you guys on the next video.